Hi guys, and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to enable the new Windows Share UI inside Windows 11 in the File Explorer or directly into the desktop, wherever you are deciding to share a file from. So in this video, we're gonna discover the new UI that Microsoft is working on, which is a hidden feature at the moment, and we're gonna try to see if it's better than the previous one. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as always, we're we're gonna have to set up Vive Tool on our computer. Just make sure to get Vive Tool from the article below in the video description and get the latest version. That's it. After you download it, you can open it up using File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse, and then make sure to extract it into a separate folder. In my case, I have a folder created in the C partition, which is hidden features. I'm gonna select it, extract the files from Vive Tool there, and of course, I'm gonna have to replace the files in the destination. While we are at it, we're gonna have to also copy the location because when we are running the command, we're gonna have to type in the location where we extracted Vive Tool. We can exit out from these windows and then open up the search box, type in here CMD, right click on CMD and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, of course, click on yes. Here inside the CMD, type in CD and then the location where you extracted Vive Tool and then the following command, Vive Tool slash enable slash AD 452-86373. Press enter and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. A huge shout out to Phantom Machine 3 for discovering this hidden feature and ID, which basically enables a testing or a preview version of the new share window inside Windows 11. If you want to just copy and paste this command, it will be listed in the article below in the video description, so you can just get it from there. After you run the command and you receive the message, just exit out from the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now for the restart, if we open up the file explorer, for example, and then go into a folder and we want to share a file, right click on it and then click on share, we're gonna notice that we have a new window that now can be moved around the screen. As you can see, we can use the drag and drop function to it. Also, we have a close button in the top right side which of course right now it doesn't look pretty good because as I've said this is a hidden feature Microsoft is currently testing this and of course another thing that was mentioned by Phantom Mission 3 is that the window cannot be dismissed if you click outside of it so that is also a pretty interesting thing and of course we also have here the button that allows us to switch between accounts if we have multiple accounts connected to our Windows computer of course the main settings and sections of the Windows share window are basically pretty much the same with the function to search the recent contacts nearby share or share using. I think that is pretty nice. Also, if we're using the button from here and maybe select a file and then click on share, the same will open. I think this is a pretty nice thing because it was pretty frustrating that you couldn't move the window around the screen. Basically, in the previous version, the window just opened in the center of the file explorer and you could not move it around. And if you clicked outside of it by mistake, the window would be dismissed. I think this is going into the right direction because Microsoft is starting to let us move the share window. Window, think that is pretty nice. Let me know below in the comments what you think about this new hidden feature that Microsoft is testing out. And of course, if you want to enable it yourself, check out the article below for more details if you couldn't figure that out from this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Let's do manual from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.